Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 43. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Okay, so we're starting off our first event with uh, race cars at the moment. This is the North American RGT Open, so we've got an RGT car. This is the uh, 16 CTSV Cadillac, so... Uh, pretty, pretty good car. We've got seven races to do, starting off with Alpine Ring, moving on to Road Atlanta, Maple Valley, Sunset Peninsula Infield, Blue Mountain Raceway, Road America, and finishing off with the Nürburgring. Let's get going. All right, here we go. We're starting in, uh, fifth position, which is quite far back. Pretty decent start so far, though. Oh, had a little bit of contact with that Mustang there. Whoa, Mustang's pushing us off the track. Very bad at the Mustang there. Time to race. Whoa! Holy crap. Get off my inside. Get away. Stop touching my bum hole. Marvellous. We've got five people in chat at the moment. Welcome, everyone. Hopefully, you're all having a good day. If you want to help support the channel, feel free to uh, share the video. Share the stream. Share the link. Share everything. Every little bit greatly helps. Cars are trying to catch up, but I am not letting them. You get your asses back. Now, this is where I'm slightly concerned, because I believe these uh, race cars actually start wearing out their tires a little quicker than the uh, standard production cars. But, good thing this really crappy, like, DCBAS uh, system, GT, GTS, P1 system, got rid of after this game. And they went to the normal... Just the best system for performance in any Forza game was Forza Motorsport 3 and 4. But then they adjusted it to add the P rating back into Motorsport 5, 6, and 7. Which was extremely confusing. And then they added the X rating. Which again, was extremely confusing. And then... But Forza Horizon, they just went... S1, S2, and X rating. I don't know why they didn't just have R3, R2, R1. And just kept it like that. Would have made more sense. Uh, I'm doing good though. I'm doing good, Reaper. Thank you very much for asking. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, sticking around, man. <laughs> Reaper, have you uh, subbed to me on YouTube yet? <laughs> Not bad. Ow. Oh, a little bit too much grass there. <laughs> back, 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 give it back. Show me what you've been through. Welcome back, Pandy. Welcome back to the chat. This is good. Actually getting to take part in these race events now is really good. Ah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, you should look into getting a second-hand, like, Xbox or something. I know money's an issue, but... That's probably your cheapest option to get back into streaming. Q 
Because you could quite easily get yourself an old um, PS4, PS5, oh, well, not a PS5, sorry. An old PS4 and an old Xbox One. Oh, if you've got an Xbox Series X, then use that and start streaming on it. Use it. By all means. That's fair enough. You make it easy. No. This track is actually really enjoyable. And I'm kind of gutted that Alpine Ring didn't make a return in Motorsport 3, 4, 5. Basically, it just got put to the side. I would love to see them. Have it make a return. Uh, yeah, I'd be up for a couple of games of Siege. I'd have to sort out all my footage first. Um, and then start the transfers for the footage. Because that's going to take... Well, it's probably going to be about 70 gigabytes of footage for this stream. So... That'll take a good 15 minutes to transfer from my hard drive. Maybe even 20. Eh, I'll say 15. Oh, yeah. Making YouTube videos is pretty sick. I'm doing, um, so what I'm doing is I'm streaming every day, or every day that I can. Obviously, sometimes family stuff happens. But I'm streaming for a good few hours every day, so that I can keep my Twitch channel growing. But I'm working on this massive project, which we're doing now, which is the Forza Mega Series. And it's basically just me completing every single Forza game to 100%. Um... 100% for my playthroughs are completing every single event. So, if I complete every single event, then that's 100% in my eyes. I've done everything. Because I've completed everything. First place isn't a necessity. Would be nice to get first place for everything, but again, it's not a necessity for this series. I did initially want it to be, like, first place for everything, but then I thought, that's just fucking ridiculous. So. But I have been getting first place on a majority of races anyways. Like, it's just one or two races I haven't got first place, so. Tend to set up OBS for streaming. Yeah, good idea. Set up your OBS. Get some uh, fancy webcam or... Oh, you don't do face cam, do you? Get some cool stuff set up. <sighs> Whoa. My uh, controller temporarily disconnected from my uh, USB drive, so it ended up fucking not <laughs> steering properly. Hey, no worries, Death. No worries. Well, uh, if you need a hand setting up your OBS panty, just let me know and I can hop into a voice chat with you and talk you through some stuff. Some cool little features that I have on my stream that's actually quite useful for people. There we go, 905. Not bad. I'll take it. Alright, 
Road Atlanta. Let's get cracking, lads. Someone called feet.jpg just got banned on Siege. Wow. Yeah, no worries, Death. Thank you very much. Uh, I assume this is just the track without the long straight. Yes. This is the acorn route. I basically call this the acorn route because it looks like an acorn. And then the other route I call the, the leg of ham. The ham leg. Whatever you want to call it. It's ham. It's the ham route. <laughs> this is the acorn track. Bum, 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 bum. Mustang's pushing me over. Ooh. We're behind him. Let's go up to the side. Neck and neck. We've gone past. It's a lovely overtake there. Lovely. And the emulation is lagging like a bish. Like ads makes Cra Craig's content better. Yes, it does. Advertisements help pay and fund the channel. Not too bad. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to do our Forza stream. Once we finish this game, we're doing a 12-hour Forza stream. Um, and then I am planning on potentially turning that into a subathon. But I don't know yet. We will plan for another subathon at some point. No. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. So warm in here. I think it's the Xbox, actually. Used boxer shorts after a stream. Do you know what? I'll sell my boxes for a thousand pounds. If anyone wants them, let me know in DMs and I'll sell you a pair of my used boxes. How's that sound? Jesus Christ. I could do with the money anyway, so... I really should think about making an OnlyFans. Sell my pictures of my feet. Anyone want feet pics? <laughs> Bet. Lovely. Well, I said if we get like 100 subs in one month, I would make an OnlyFans for feet pics. <laughs> and I would give everyone a month for free. <laughs> Just for the meme. Just for the meme. I'll take them and dispose of them. Wow. Not too bad. Lap five of nine so far. Take it in. 
The thing is, right, all of the Forza games up to number four had, like, progress... Pro Progressively longer races. You started off with like short three minute races and you ended up sort of late game started getting into 15 minute races, 20 minute, 25 minute races. All of these older Forza games did it, but um, Forza 5 and Forza 6, and uh, maybe Forza 7 a little bit as well. All resulted to just like um, two or three laps per track. The races would only ever go up to about six or seven minutes, unless it was an actual dedicated endurance event. But even then, some of them weren't very long. Ah, oh, endurance races on the other Forza games, though. Because the endurance races in this one actually aren't that endurance based. They're not that long. But uh, some of the ones in um, Motorsport 3 and 4 especially. Are like 300 kilometers of fucking Sebring or something. Which if you average out your speed would probably take you an hour and a half, two hours to do. That clip got 18 views. Then more than likely, it's going to be on my Be Right Back screen very soon. <laughs> more than likely. Gran Turismo didn't even have short races, to be honest. Uh, maybe Gran Turismo on, um, like, Gran Turismo 5 and 6. Gran Turismo 4... Not at all. Some of them were, like, long races. Some were short. And they were all mixed in together. We need 20 for playing with this PP. Charming. Not bad. Not bad at all. Meow, 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 meow. GT5 had at least one 24 hour race. Yeah, GT5 had some extremely long endurance races, but the endurance ones I don't normally count as the typical events because those are like extra curricular things. We'll call it that. That's like stuff you do beyond the normal campaign. Um, just because you don't really do those killer endurance races unless you want to. Um, but yeah, there were some extremely long races. Also, welcome M1. How are you doing? <laughs> Hopefully you're doing good, man. Suka Bliad. Right, we're going to try and push for this lap. Uh, it's a Cadillac CTSV, I think it's called. Um, it's a pretty neat car, actually. So one thing I don't understand about Gran Turismo 5 is B-Spec. What's the... I understand sitting there and, like, doing that kind of thing. But why was there an entire campaign and you had to do the campaign to earn additional vehicles and stuff like that? Just seemed a bit fucking stupid.
Oh, balls. I went off the track. Ah, uh, we wouldn't have got it anyways. Exactly. Slap bang. Nine minutes and 20 seconds, though. I'll take it. Not too shabby. 45 grand. I'll take it. Okay, here we go. We got eight people in chat now watching us drive a Cadillac around Maple Valley. Oh, we got 14 laps of this thing. Charming. Let's see if we can lap any cars. Chance of that are very slim. Oh, we are basically going like 90 miles an hour around this corner. Not bad at all. You guys are keeping up. Not too bad. Yay, I got another follower on TikTok. Woohoo. By the way, chat. Have a look at my about page if you want to uh, follow me on TikTok. I do some really shitty TikToks. TDU1 had um, the Chrysler Me, Me 412, which is an absolute fucking beautiful car. I'm not 100% sure if TDU1 on uh, 360, 360 PS3 and PC had it, but I know for a fact um, on the PS2 version of the game, I don't know if they made an Xbox original version, but I know they definitely made a PS2 and a PSP version. Yeah, the Cadillac CN was a bit of a bitch, because you... See, here's the thing. So, mission races in Gran Turismo 7 are all, like, missions and stuff like that. In Gran Turismo 4, they were similar, but they were well known for being a pain in the ass. Um, specifically, mission races 31 to 34. Um, they had four mission races where it was a one lap magic. Four or five of them, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, mission race, I believe 31 or 32, it was one of the first two, um, was actually the Cadillac CN around, uh, Infinium Raceway, it's now Sonoma Raceway. Um... And that was an, uh, uh, an absolute fucking ball ache. I'm going to be honest. That was horrendous to actually do. But I managed to get it. And I was absolutely buzzing. And then the dreaded and very famous Mission 34 race. Mission race number 34. If you don't know what that is, just... The number 34, I actually know that could be good, bad, and ugly. But for a Gran Turismo fan, the number 34 brings PTSD for that race. Big time. A Mercedes SLR around the Nürburgring, but you had to sit and wait for two and a half minutes before you could actually do your attempt. Honestly, GT4 was so difficult. Yeah, I'm not falling for that one, Pandy. I've already heard that one. I don't know whether I heard it from you or whether I told you it and heard it from someone else. Because I remember I've told you that before, I think. Whoa! Meow. But I've definitely heard of that one before. I ain't falling for it. Nuh -uh. <laughs> Rule 35 of the internet makes made a meme of it. Rule 34, there, if it exists, there is porn of it. Rule 35, if it exists, mech has made a meme of it. <laughs> mm. 
Whoa! Oh my god, come on! Horny bonk. Horny. We're at eight viewers at the moment. That's crazy. If you guys do want to help with the stream, feel free to uh, share it out again. That can't go on YouTube. Oh, it bloody well is. Anything that happens in these streams is staying on YouTube. So... <laughs> They just get cropped up and edited up into a more... Wow. Basically, I just cut out all of the loading screens. And then just upload it back up to YouTube. So. People can enjoy it on YouTube as well. Enjoy my shitty content. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube... I don't know how many times I've said that today. Quite a few. <laughs> no worries, Pandy. No worries. I'll be done in about an hour. Um, I will have finished the races and done all my thumbnails and stuff and started up my footage transfer. The stream's only probably going to go on for about another 45, 50 minutes. So... Meow. Oh my god, there's so many laps in this race. It's unreal. Meow. Now, 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 now. Stoop Dog's kids must be upset at Christmas. He's such a good rapper. Must take him ages to get into their presents. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that is, that's amazing. There's such a good line there. Not too bad. Yo, Wolfie, what's up? Uh, yeah, so my VODs aren't showing up because Twitch has changed their TOS now. That if you've got copyrighted music, it will automatically not show it. And then you've got to manually um, publish them. I just can't be asked to go in and publish them. So. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there we go. 9.15. Not too bad, actually. 45 grand. We'll take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 